Hi, my name's Emily Goodlad and I'm from the Society of Musculoskeletal Medicine. I'm going to talk to you about differential diagnosis of pain around the radial side of the wrist. I'm going to assume that we've ruled out the proximal causes of pain, so we've ruled out that it's not coming from Warren's cervical spine, his shoulder or his elbow, and that we're looking for the source of the pain more locally. Most of the structures that will reproduce this pain around the radial side are located in what we call the snuff box in and around that. The snuff box is marked by with the medial border being the tendon of extensor pollicis longus and the lateral border being the tendons which run in the same sheath of extensor pollicis brevis and abductor pollicis longus. So any of those three tendons could be a source of this radial wrist pain, but also you've got to think it could be the long extensor tendons on the radial side of the wrist or the long flexor tendons obviously on the flexor side of the wrist. Within the snuff box, there are several structures that could also be the source of the pain. You've got the radial collateral ligament, you've got the scaphoid, and you've got the first carpometacarpal joint. So you can test any of those structures to confirm your diagnosis, and I'm going to show you a couple of tests just now. So if you are thinking that it's the tendons of extensor pollicis brevis and abductor pollicis longus, you can do a couple of resistor tests. You can do resistor thumb extension and resistor thumb abduction. And if either of those reproduce their pain, then you would be thinking that perhaps you had a, a De Quervin's tenosynovitis, and you could confirm that diagnosis with a test that we call Finkelstein's test. You pop the patient's thumb into their hand, get them to grasp it with their fingers, and you do an ulnar deviation with flexion, and again, that would reproduce their pain. If you were thinking it was perhaps the first carpometacarpal joint, then you can do a test just stretching it to see if you reproduce the pain. Pop your first web into the patient's first web and then just stretch that thumb into extension. Not only will you reproduce your patient's symptoms, but you'll see some nice blanching over the Thena eminence there. So there are just a couple of tips to help you isolate a, a local source of pain around the radial side of the wrist.